Today, I wanna to talk about Things 3, specifically a feature that I didn't know existed until fairly recently, which is called the Magic Plus button. Works on iOS, uh, iPadOS, same thing, uh, for you. So let's dig into that today, because it's pretty cool and just reveals a lot of functionality that Things has that, that you might not notice. Before we get into that, if you want to support the channel, two ways you can do that. One is to go to patreon.com slash curtismikhail, support the channel. Number two is to go to Skillshare. I always do this backwards. I said this last time. Go to curtismikhail.ca slash Skillshare, where you can find my course on TickTick, watch my upcoming course on Things 3, and my upcoming course on time blocking. Buckle up, the magic plus button. When you look at Things 3, what I've done most of the time, I actually find this easier to do um, with my finger. So I'll, I'll kind of call out when I'm using my finger instead of the trackpad. But normally I just hit plus, add a task. And then if I want to do another task, I'd hit Command N, which saves it and gives me another task, right? Or hit Enter and that task would be done. But there's actually a lot more power to the plus button than that. So usually if you'd hold your keyboard commands, you can see I can also do other stuff like um, new project, command option N, new to do, command N, right? Um, there's lots of more, lots more stuff I can do. But the magic plus button, I'll try it with the trackpad. Well, I usually don't use it this way. I usually use it just with my finger. Um, I can drag it and I can actually add lots of stuff. I could add a new list, right? Let go, new list, new project. Uh, if I am in upcoming, I can actually drag to a specific day. Right, I can choose which day I want it on this task, this task to be. All right, so for tomorrow, something tomorrow. Not only that, but you can do, right, I can do it to any time, I could do someday it works. Another interesting thing to note though, if I start dragging, you see down here, add to inbox. So this brings up our inbox window so that we can add stuff. Now this might be useful, let's say I'm working on, I actually want to just delete this project. Another thing I love about Things 3 is you can archive or delete projects, finish a project. So say I was working through this, right? I'm gonna record the Smart Plus button. It's actually called the Magic Plus button, but I'm gonna record about it. I can mark that as done, because I've done it, but I'm gonna add a task, but I don't actually wanna add it here. I wanna add it to my inbox, because there's something I was thinking of while I was looking at my content here. And I could let go and inbox task. And now it's in there which is excellent. Let's open up drafts. So another thing we can use it for, do I have it in here? I do, there you go. We could also use it here, right? I can grab the magic plus and add to my inbox really quickly. If I don't want to, I can just drag it back over the X. Now this is how it works really on your iPhone, right? You have different windows like this. So to get it to into a project, you actually have to find the project. Um, from here, you can actually create a new to-do, new list or new area. Um, right in the full screen view, new list or new area is actually, see down here, new list, right? And then you can add your new area, whereas it gets kind of collapsed into the magic plus button um, in the single pane view. And you can also have it like in two views. Oh, it's dropped out of here, so I could go, what's the keyboard command? Or I can just go things, drag and drop over here. There we go. So I could even have two views like that. And I could actually add a task into whatever I wanted, right? I could go inbox, other inbox task. You can see right up here, it added four. That's the magic plus button. It's particularly useful on iOS. Doesn't exist on Mac OS at all. It's particularly useful, I find on my iPhone when I'm opening it up, I'm looking at a project and I think, oh, I actually have to add something to some other place. Uh, and I'll drag it off to the inbox so that I can sort it later. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you subscribe and hit the bell. YouTube will let you know what's happening. And if you really want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash curtismikhail, support the channel, or you can go to curtismikhail.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take my course on Tick Tick right now. You can watch my upcoming course on Things 3, and you can watch my upcoming course on time blocking. Have an excellent day.